I'm Jeff Nimnick. And I'm Rick Paulette. And we're the hosts of The Last Stand. Coyote hunting is my passion. And coyote calls are my livelihood. And together we aim to bring you the best predator hunting tips, tricks, and tactics right down to The Last Stand. The Last Stand, presented by Lucky Duck Predator Calls. We are the masters of deception. Swagger bipods. Shoot with confidence. Shoot with swagger. On X Hunt. Know where you stand. Hornady. Accurate. Deadly. Dependable. <laughs> season coyote hunting sometimes it's one of those things you never know what you get everybody expects it's going to be dynamite because you feel like all these pups should be running out but sometimes in our country Kansas South Dakota Nebraska there's all these food sources I think and there's lots of stuff from to eat so not every pup coyote is like starving like you get a little mixed bag of mm -hmm. maybe some hard chargers but coyotes that act like they could care less right you know and we saw a little bit of all that on yeah. this trip Oh, it's just a beautiful stand here. Took a little bit of a hike down the hill here to get in where we weren't so high. Sometimes I think you can stop a little too high on a hill, which then the coyotes have a better chance of getting underneath you. And then you're just shooting down at like well over 45 degree angle. Again, down here now, we're gonna be a little more level with these coyotes. Call's gonna carry a little bit better up this draw to the left, right. John's been in here doing some mill deer hunting and has, has seen a group of coyotes right up you know, this general mile area right here. So wind's still blowing, maybe 20, 25. It is letting up a little bit. So I'm hopeful here in the next hour, it's gonna lay down even more. But I'm gonna stick with what's working. I'm gonna throw some Lucky Pecker at him here for a few minutes, then just go to some louder sounds like TNT for maybe two minutes. And then after that, finish up with some schoolyard brawl or sit kicking ass or one of the loud pup fights for the last three or four minutes. Okay, got my, got my blood pumping. Kyle was laid up like less than 100 yards from us. <laughs> Rick shot him right below him. Wind's ripping through here. This coyote, I don't, I'm sure they're, they're telling the story over there. It had to have been just tucked into this buck brush. I saw him bounce right here and I didn't, he was only like 10 yards right below them. And that's where this red dot I shoot at a 45. I got it dead on at 20 yards. We have all this cover sitting here shadows and steep hills I, there was no need to really get the call out that far it's only down here in front of us about 20 yards and he was coming right for it and i had rolled over if they had missed i'd have got him with the red dot right here at the call but rick got him cleaned up sketchy sketchy i had rolled over with the red dot i was just waiting for him to come around the corner <laughs> was he this big in your scope yeah <laughs> Problem it was, was so windy I can't even hear him from 10 yards away. <laughs> was he laid up in the brush? Was he late? Was he sleeping in the brush over here? Well, hey, all I know is I'm glad I didn't kill it because I don't have to drag it up that steep bastard now. <laughs>
tell you if there ever was such a thing as a dynamite stand, this is it. We are back in here. There's about five or six big cuts leading on to this big bowl in the bottom of us. Chock full of trees, got all kinds of yucca, grass. Wind's letting up a little bit, but out on this point, it's still probably blowing 15, 20, but I got the call down off. They come up this hill, it might get pretty tricky, but hopefully we can see them down there a little bit, get them stopped. We probably don't want to get them right below us, but it may happen. It's right over the top of the call of these trees right here, coming right up the hill at us. Nice. Had a baby. A shot, Ricky. That's the kind of little stand you dream of. Just kind of roll up there and stop. Dead center. Boom. Let me see how far he was. 62 yards to be exact. Jeff had played a bunch of fights and a whole bunch of different things. And then he turned on lip squeaks too. And here it come. I'm assuming it was coming already. But then the, you never know. You never really know if they're already coming when you change the sound or how that works. Or <laughs> Great day, man. I don't know why, why, why couldn't we get that guy to come down that sucker? Maybe just a dang. I think he sent, uh, something new, something wasn't right, but wasn't smart enough to run off. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Another 30, 32 pounder.